Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So today I'm just going to be starting to do a weekly vlog. It is Monday the 10th of August and I'm actually at home right now in Belfast. There's people screaming outside but um, it's quite a late start to the vlog. It's like 2pm. Um, I got up literally at like 12 and I couldn't even motivate myself to get out of bed until like half 12. I don't know why, it's like recently I've just been so done out. So I literally slept for like 11 hours again. <laughs> I'm feeling like quite motivated to get some stuff done. So the plan for today is basically just to finish editing my last vlog to get that up tonight as well just to vlog basically all day and hopefully read The Woman in the Window. That's what I'm currently reading. So I'm only like 40 pages into that so I'm hoping that I can fly through that quite quickly actually. My other plan for today is after I finish editing I'm gonna watch The Kiss in Booth 2 with <laughs> with my sisters which will be quite funny. Yeah that'll, that'll be quite entertaining I'm sure. Right now I'm just gonna edit as I said and just try and get that done really as quickly as I can. So I literally just finished editing my video. It's completely done and I'm just waiting on it uploading like or sharing. I'm really glad that I finally actually edited a video, finally made a video and it's going up literally after like a month but that's not gonna happen again like I'm not gonna let that happen again because um, I've been like literally so inconsistent but I'm definitely going to be more consistent since I've got this camera and everything and I'm just so excited to keep using it. I'm so happy I've got it and I'll be doing like some sit down videos while I'm here while I have my big camera. I'm also going to buy myself a ring light for England so that I can have one here and there because it's just much easier rather than having to rely on the natural light and stuff and the setup and all, all of that kind of thing. So basically anyway now I'm gonna go and get some tea and biscuits and I'm just gonna go and see if my sister still wanna watch The Kiss of Booth <laughs> too and then after that I'll just probably spend the rest of the evening reading. I know that later on tonight I'm going to Nando's with my family just for something nice to do, um, nice some nice food and then hopefully I will get some reading done today. I'll update whenever I'm doing anything else but that's the plan for now. <laughs> okay so basically I didn't vlog at all yesterday and I haven't vlogged at all yet today and it's like five or half five in the evening so again I have failed to start a vlog properly but I promise I'm gonna eventually get used to it but anyway yesterday we went for a Nando's in the evening and it was actually so nice. I got butterfly chicken, medium spice, it was delicious. Um, ignore that my hair is like just so messy, like I just I haven't really done much at all today. I don't really know what I've been doing in general. Like I've scheduled a video to upload tonight at half seven and I've made like the thumbnail and things for that but apart from that I've done no reading or anything like that. Today I'm hoping to read like a lot more this evening of The Woman in the Window because I want to read it fast enough so I can start Midnight Sun as soon as my sister's finished it. I, and so I want to read all of Midnight Sun by the time I go back to Bristol on Tuesday. So the plan is to read the one in the, the, the woman in the window as fast as I can. Um, that's what I'm going to do now. I've got myself some tea and biscuits and I'm just going to sit and read. Actually this time, I know I always say that, but I really am going to. Um, I'm really excited for my video to be up tonight. It's just another vlog. I think I'm going to make like a few sit down videos tomorrow which will be nice because I haven't done some of those in a while. That'll be good and then yeah I'm hoping to also maybe do some colouring tonight and just listen to the Kite Runner because I'm quite close to finishing that. Um, I haven't listened to it in ages so it'd be really nice just to listen to a bit of an audiobook and colour later in the evening like around bedtime. So that's the plan anyway and I will update you whenever I have anything to say about the woman in the window. Okay so I'm like 95 pages into um, the woman in the window and basically I just want to like give like a quick update because I was actually so proud of myself. There's one bit where she thinks to herself like only connect like where have I heard that before and I was thinking that's how it's end like that's the enforcer and then um I was just like so proud of myself like I know that like I get the reference <laughs> and then later after that it like confirms that that is where it's from like she thinks to herself well I remember what it's from it's Forster it's hard end and I was like I feel like a genius right now <laughs> I love that whenever like I feel like me reading classics and stuff comes into like other books that I read and then I get the like the references and stuff like that's one of the reasons I read classics like obviously I really enjoy them in general but I love that whenever you actually get a reference to something and you just feel like 
smart or something. <laughs> I love that so much. But yeah, I just thought that I would give that like a quick update. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm going to go down and get like a drink of water because I'm absolutely just, just so thirsty. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to continue reading and that's pretty much all I'll be doing <laughs> for the rest of the evening. Okay, so sorry if there's any like background noise or anything. Um, I'm outside so like my mommy right now is like cleaning the garden with like a power hose or something and so like it's quite noisy but I hope you can hear what I'm saying anyway and um I don't know if this is like too bright looking or anything I literally can't even see the viewfinder but I just started like outside reading um it's like one o'clock in the day I woke up at like 11 so I haven't been up long to be honest um, I'm probably going to get some food soon because I'm starting to get really hungry because I only had like a bowl of cereal for breakfast but um, basically I read quite a lot more of The Woman in the Window yesterday I got to like page like 179 I think and I was just like so intrigued like last night I was like kept reading and reading and reading and honestly I, I had such bad nightmares last night I think it might have like gave me some nightmares even though there weren't anything to do with it I don't know maybe like it gave me some nightmares but now I'm on page 182 so I've literally read like three pages since I've been outside because I've just, to be honest, just been on my phone and stuff which is so bad but um, I've watched some booktube as well today which was really nice. Yeah, I don't really know what my plan is for today, just kind of wing it. I was supposed to be going out for a drink tonight but I had such a bad sleep last night that I was like, oh my god, everything from my camera just like flew away. I need to go and get that and then I'm going to continue this clip. <laughs> that was actually so scary, like loads of stuff from my camera just kind of like blew away in the wind and I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I can't lose that stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just like out like sunbathing in like a bikini. Um, <laughs> but um, so I'm trying not to get like too much into the to the camera. I'm really, really, really enjoying the book. I'm just, I just think it's like so easy to read and just so easy just to get through. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm just gonna continue reading basically and see how much I can get done. I think it's possible probably to finish it today because I want to, as I said, get it done as quickly as I can so I can start Midnight Sun as quickly as I can because I just really want to know what I think of that. I think that would be really entertaining just to see what I think of that. So yeah, that's the plan for now. I'm just going to give an update whenever I've actually read a bit more and yeah. That's really all. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm home now. I, I know this is like a kind of an awkward angle, but I just can't be bothered holding the camera. But I'm home now. I've got some tea and I'm, I just spilled the tea all over me and took the coaster with me. But anyway, basically I've just got some tea, some decaf tea because I can't sleep otherwise. I, I read a bit more of The Woman in the Window earlier. I am on page 236. So I read like, what, like 50-ish pages? Don't think I'll get it done tonight because <laughs> there's still quite a lot to go. But maybe like tomorrow morning, if I just kind of part through tomorrow morning, I should be able to get it done. Basically, there are now my family randomly decided to go out for dinner. It was like, everybody jump in the car, we'll just find somewhere to go and eat because like loads of restaurants weren't picking up. Um, and obviously it's like the eat out to help out scheme right now. So we were like, okay, like we'll go, we'll get in the car, we'll just find somewhere to be. No, like everywhere was absolutely packed, which like really didn't shock me because I was like, no, let's just make chicken curry at home. And everybody's like, no, let's go out, let's go out for something to eat. I keep spilling, I keep spilling this tea all around me, no joke. Everywhere was packed. So we were like, you know what? At least we had a family drive. Um, <laughs> which everybody was laughing at and then we were like we're too hungry now it's too late at this point it's like nine o'clock we were like it's too late to go home and make food it'll just take ages we don't have anything quick at home so we will I'm taking off my socks because I'm absolutely roasting so what we'll do is we'll just go and have a McDonald's because it'll be really cheap because it's like half price and there's nowhere else to go everywhere else is packed so we just kind of had like a family out and, and there's six people in my family so we look mental just going out in the evening for a family McDonald's and that we were all dressed up and all because we thought we were going out for actual food somewhere. We're all dressed up, we go out for family McDonald's. And you know what, it was really nice. I do feel kind of sick now after it, but it was really, really nice. So, and I was in like a bit of a, like a weird mood all day because like I had such a bad sleep last night. So I was in such a weird mood. Like I had a nap as well earlier, but anyway, I'm going to stop going on about this and I'm just going to sit here and read. I'm going to open the window. I don't care if moths get in, which terrify me, but I'm going to just open the window. Who cares? I'm too roasting. I'm going to change into my pajama top as well because this is really tight and roasting. And yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to read until I'm too exhausted basically that's the plan so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to put my pillows behind me so that i can read properly i always feel like i look really weird 
in these like ankles like why do i look like that like it just it really makes me feel really weird like my why is my body so like long and wide whenever i sit like this i really don't know but anyway that's the plan so i'm gonna stop rambling on and actually go and read i always say that i'll read but i never do but i really am going to read now Sorry if there's noise in the background, my sister's dying her hair. But anyway, I just wanted to give like a really, I know this is like a really weird angle, but I just wanted to give like a really quick update as to what's happening. I'll actually just get my book now out of my bag. Um, I'm about to go and meet my friend for coffee, which will be really, really nice. But I literally couldn't sleep until 6 a.m. But I was like, last night, which was just insane. Like I just couldn't sleep. It was so weird. Like, my heart was beating so fast. I just could not sleep. It was so strange. But um, I got to page 257 of The Woman in the Window. So definitely didn't finish it yesterday like I'd hoped, but to be fair, that, that's like fine. I can just continue reading it today because I want to, I need to start Midnight Sun tomorrow. My sister's finishing that today so that I can read that after her. Because I need to finish that before I get back to Bristol, as I'm pretty sure I've said before already. So I'm just gonna go now, meet my friend for coffee, and then really just probably read this evening because it's my brother's birthday tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll have much reading time tomorrow, but yeah, it'll be nice. So yeah. Just gonna go and meet meet her now. I haven't seen her literally since like Christmas or something, so I absolutely can't wait. She's like my best friend. I can't wait to see her. So that'll be actually so nice. <laughs> I can't wait. So I haven't vlogged since like the middle of the day yesterday. I'm so thirsty. Um, I read a little bit of the woman in the window. I'm on page three hundred and fifty two. So I'm going to attempt to read like a good bit tonight. Um, I highly doubt I'm going to finish tonight because I always say that, but then I just I've been so exhausted recently. Like my sleep has just been so bad. I slept for like 11 hours last night and I didn't, I barely read. I only literally read like five pages today because it was my brother's birthday. I just had like a family day like in the morning. I just helped my family make everywhere a really nice kind of looking for my brother and we kind of, you know, put up all the balloons and that kind of thing. So that was what I did in the morning. And then earlier we had like a darts tournament. So we hung up like the, the dartboard outside and like had a full on tournament. It took hours. By the time we had that done, it was literally dinner time. I lost, I didn't, I didn't win definitely didn't win. And then we watched the new Sonic film, which was okay. Like I rated it like three stars, I think, like on Letterboxd. Um, if anybody wants to add me on Letterboxd as well, I should actually, I'll add, I'll add that in the description actually, my name on Letterboxd, because if anybody has that, definitely I like to see what films people are watching. So that would be pretty cool if anybody wants to add me on that. It was like, okay, it was like, it was enjoyable. And then it wasn't like that good. Like it was like, it was like, okay. So it was like three stars-ish. Anyway, I am really, really, really need to start Midnight Sun tomorrow. I know I keep talking about this, but I really, really need to start it tomorrow because I need to finish it for like Tuesday. I also really need to film. I want to make like videos on what it's like studying English at the University of Bristol because somebody asked me to do that. I want to also make a video on how to read and enjoy Chaucer because somebody also asked me to do that. And I also really want to watch Venom with my brother and I also want to spend some time reading Catching Fire to him tomorrow. Quite a lot to do before I go home on Tuesday evening. I'll see what I get done, but I need to finish Midnight Sun because I can't take the edition with me. First of all, it's massive and it'd be way too heavy to take in a suitcase. Second of all, it's my sister's copy and she's like proper like Twilight fan since she was like really young. So I wouldn't want to like, I couldn't take her edition and I don't want to like get halfway through and be like, I'm gonna have to buy myself a whole another copy of this. Like, I don't want that to happen. So point is I need to get reading. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't updated properly, but I've just been like literally so busy. So the plan is read as much as I can with this before I fall asleep. It's like, honestly, it's like quarter past. Yeah, it's like 20 past 11, nearly half 11 now at night. I was literally just scrolling through TikTok, like mindlessly. I'm like, why do I waste my time like this and Twitter and stuff? Like, why do I waste my time like this? But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do and I'll see how that goes and I will update in the morning because <laughs> I'm too lazy right now to do like a time lapse of me reading because <laughs> I just want to get into bed and just start reading and then fall asleep. <laughs> so good night. I am going to film in the morning whenever I remember to. <laughs> hey guys, so basically it is Sunday now and I have finished The Woman in the Window. I gave it 3.5 stars because I did really, really enjoy it. I just didn't feel like it 
I could justify giving it four stars. I'm not sure why. I think it's just because even though it's really fast paced and easy to read, I find it really difficult to pick up. And maybe that's because I just kind of personally find it difficult to read. I think like with how much the main character suffers and things in that book, like I find it quite difficult to pick up and like motivate myself to read because I think it made me feel it's a bit funny. I don't know. Um, and I think I, it was really, really enjoyable and I, I'm really glad I read it but I think I also felt like I was kind of having to rush it because I knew that I only have like a certain amount of time to read Midnight Sun before I go home and since it's such a big book and then that just made me not want to pick it up so maybe it's like you know maybe like it's partially my fault and like the timing but I definitely really enjoyed it and 3.5 stars is still a really good rating I just I did find the end a bit cringy like no spoilers or anything I won't say anything but I did find the end in a wee bit cringy. I don't know why. I just think like the monologues and stuff at the end of that just were a bit cringy, like something that you would find on like a Disney Channel horror film or something. I don't really know. But anyway, I finished it and I'm glad that I finished it. So that's the third book that I've finished so far this month. But that means now I can pick up Midnight Sun officially. It's literally like five o'clock in the evening or something and I'm going to start reading this now. I know I haven't vlogged very much. I literally just had a shower and things and I was just kind of like doing, I don't even know what I've been doing all day. Like to be honest, like I just feel like time goes too fast. I'm like, what have I even been doing? But I also am hoping to film like two sit down videos. I think I mentioned this last night. So I'm just going to start reading and then I'll talk about my thoughts as I go along with Midnight Sun. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it like spoilery or not but I suppose you can't really do it spoilery because everybody pretty much knows what happens in Twilight so because of that I think I'm just going to openly talk about it. So that's the plan and I will report back when I have some thoughts on Midnight Sun. Okay so it's Monday morning now and I read a bit more of Midnight Sun last night. I have it here and I'm literally about to do some reading now. Ignore that I have like literally a Christmas cup but of tea <laughs> but um Anyway, yeah, so I'm on page 72, so not too bad. Um, I need to read like at least 200 pages today if I'm gonna like get this read. So my plan literally today is just to read, which I'm so excited to do because I'm actually enjoying this so much. I love reading from Edward's point of view. It's so much fun. I don't know, I wasn't the biggest Twilight fan, but I'm definitely, I definitely did like it, like growing up and everything. And I'm just way preferring reading from Edward's point of view even though like the last time I read Twilight and the only time I read Twilight was literally like it must have been like 13 or 14 I think no I wouldn't have been I would have been even younger than that like I probably like 12 so I genuinely can't remember even what it was like reading from Bella's point of view but all I remember was thinking like oh this, this is okay like it's good but I'm not I used to prefer the films and stuff genuinely I'm really loving reading from Edward's point of view and I'm loving seeing like more of Alice and seeing how Edward feels throughout it and even though there's that kind of like, I don't know, there was something about her kind of thing going on, I know that like this was kind of the original thing to do that. Um, so it's not bothering me as much. And as well, I feel like it's way better done than like, for example, like Daughter of Smoke and Bone in, by Lily Taylor. Like throughout that novel, it's kind of like, oh, like she was like special and I didn't know why. And like, even though it's explained, it's just done terribly in my opinion. <laughs> that uh, makes me feel really bad but I felt like it was just not done well and just in a cringy way like that's why I didn't continue with that with that trilogy but in this I can see why he, like she intrigues him and obviously there's that hint of like she's like special and she intrigues me and I don't know why like there's just something about her at least this was like the original thing to do it so it, it makes it not as like annoying and I feel like it's really well written. Uh, I know people were having like a few problems with her scent hit me like a battering ram and stuff like I know people are having problems with that but I don't feel like that's a line that's any worse or any better than a line Sarah J Maas would write she oftentimes uses similes like that and like really childish similes just like throughout all of YA I feel like that's something that you just kind of have to accept and you kind of have to accept what audience that you're 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 reading from and for. I don't think that there is any problem with that. I've definitely read far worse similes in, in books like Caraval and things like that that get so much praise and it just kind of confuses me why every single word is that Stephanie Meyer writes is completely torn apart and picked apart. Whereas so many books that are so so popular, everything is let slide just because it has really flowery writing that doesn't technically actually, that isn't actually technically good or well written, people just let it slide because of that flowery thing. It, it comes across as pretentious and as if it's good and gives that kind of idea that it's good when it isn't. I mean, I think anybody who 
reads but like from a lot of genres is more likely to notice things like that and I just feel like I feel really bad for Stephanie Meyer because it's kind of like she's everything every single word she writes is is ripped apart and pulled apart whereas in other YA books like I love Sarah J Maas but and she's a great YA writer from like a point of view if I was reading like in comparison to books like adult books like The Kite Runner and even like My Dark Vanessa and I don't know just thinking of any adult books that come to mind they wouldn't use similes like so as simple as that but Sarah J Maas definitely does and so does Stephanie Meyer but that's one small line within so many other good things and I just I don't know I just feel bad because I do feel like every single thing is pulled apart and I get about you know how people feel about Rosalie and I get how people feel about Edward and everything like that but I think that there's definitely a lot worse characters in the world and I'm really enjoying it personally so that's my that's my thoughts so far I'm really 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 enjoying it I love the bit where he was like saving her from the van hitting her and he's like one more could go wrong and things like this like I just really really enjoy reading it from his point of view and him trying to like resist killing her and coming up with plans how he's gonna kill everybody else in the room and everything I just thought it was like really well done because if you were I, I can imagine if you were in that situation you're like how am I gonna get out of the situation like what am I gonna do like I have no choice <laughs> and it was just it was just quite funny yeah I'm really 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 enjoying it so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna <laughs> continue reading instead of just talking about this because my camera is dying and I realized that I am pretty sure I forgot to bring the charger I'm gonna have to have a look but I'm pretty sure I forgot to bring my camera charger so some of this vlog actually might end up being like just from my phone because I Obviously I'm in Belfast and I think I might have forgotten my camera charger so I'm going to have to have a look for that. I hope I haven't forgotten it but I feel like I have. So anyway I'm going to go now and I'm going to read. I'm not going to do a time lapse because as I said my phone's dying so I don't really want to do that. Um, I'll just update um, my thoughts whenever I've read a bit more. <laughs> I have a few things to talk about so I thought I'd vlog. Um, it is Monday now. I'm going back to Bristol tomorrow. Literally all of today I just spent with my family. I brought my mummy out for lunch like in the morning. I mean in the afternoon and that was really nice. We had so much food. I was absolutely stuffed after that and we had like cocktails and stuff. It was really really nice and then right after that I went home and because I got up at like half 11 so my lunch was kind of my breakfast and then I went home and we stayed out until about four o'clock so we stayed out for about three hours after that my sister had been promised that we'd go to Nando's so we went to Nando's again and that was at six so by the time I kind of got home I started to feel really really sick like I, was, I felt really really sick like in the morning and then I still feel like so so ill and I keep getting like kind of like hot flashes like I feel so ill right now I just haven't really been feeling like vlogging today we went to Nando's I literally got a couple of chicken wings and that's all everybody else got like a full meal I physically couldn't eat and then after that we went to this really nice hotel to get um like some tea and coffee and desserts and genuinely I was like no I just I'll just have some tea and then I started to feel so so sick like the lighting was really weird and just making me feel like I was having an out of body experience or something like it was actually so weird like, it was making me feel so sick it was just so weird but anyway I will give a midnight sun update um I've been tabbing it actually a little bit because my sister said that that's okay if I do that um just as long as I don't write on the actual book but um I'm on page 176 now and I am just loving it I love the scene where Edward starts to write Bella's lullaby and Esme hears him and comes down and I love that I love the interactions between like Emmett and Edward and how Emmett's so kind of awkward and doesn't know how to comfort him and and I, I love like seeing how frightened Edward constantly is like oh my god like it would be typical of Bella for like a bear to come and eat him and stuff I just really really like it I think one of the complaints that I would have is like there's it's constantly repeated like oh the thing that she should be scared of is me like over and over and over again it's a bit overdone but I feel like Stephanie Meyer's kind of justifying why Edward is trying to explain the actions that Edward makes in Twilight that you get to see the kind of contradictions that he was having within himself and how unsure that he was I think she's really trying to highlight that and like make people see that she didn't mean for Edward to be coercive or anything. I think that that shows throughout this book. I think that whenever he says like, I hope I'm not coercing her, like he just really, really, really likes her. And in a way I was kind of like, I don't like this. This is kind of insta-love. In a way, like if you saw in the future that like you are inevitably, inevitably going to fall in love with somebody, it, I think it would speed up the process like a lot, especially if you literally saw it. Like whenever he reads Alice's thoughts, he can literally see her vis visions as well. And he can literally feel 
that too so he like knows that that's gonna happen it feels like inevitable so it speeds up the process there are a couple of creepy lines like there was one line that I marked where he says I curled my hand around the key I just picked from her jacket pocket and, and inhaled her scent deeply as I drove away I don't like that sentence I think that that sentence definitely could have been rewritten in a way less creepy way I think that that could have easily been just worded differently because I get it's not supposed to be creepy but it's just you could reword that like Seriously, I don't know if that should have been there as well. There's some like it's but I'm just loving it Like I really am. It's just such an easy read like it's so easy to get through but also well written I feel um, I'm really 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 enjoying it. Um, I also have like a little mini book haul for everybody I just realized that you can kind of see it in the background but Basically, I my best friend Maeve got me a £20 um, Waterstones gift card for my birthday. So I was like, 100% I'm going right to spend that. As soon as she gave me it, I went right to Waterstones and spent it. Um, I spent £25 on these books. So two books for £25 was quite expensive. But I thought, you know what? I cannot not get these books because they're beautiful. So first of all, I want I would would have put this in like a book haul because I got a few books for my birthday and things and I would have done like a little mini book haul but I just thought that I would put it in this vlog because I'm not able to take one of the books to Bristol with me because it'll be I, I want to take as little books as possible I'm literally having to post my Shakespeare collection and another really heavy book over to me because like I'm just like I would rather post it and spend a couple of pound to get them over rather than me carrying a massively heavy suitcase because uh, my, my laptop just it just feels so heavy in a suitcase and trying to put that over your head is just ridiculous but anyway so the first I'm gonna put this out of the way I don't know if you probably have already seen it but I'm just gonna put it out of the way but anyway so this is the first book that I got um I'm just gonna hold it up there so that you can see it that is The Waves by Virginia Woolf which I've never read and the spine is just absolutely beautiful like there was loads of different kind of of her books in these editions and you can see that there's a quote on the back that says I am made and remade continually and I think that's just so beautiful like I know that this is like kind of and it's so cute because it's like obviously paperback and so dainty and it has it like folds out into these like beautiful kind of um colorings and obviously the waves like it's so simple but it really you know it, it expresses I feel like easily and simply like you can see that all of the different Virginia Woolf books in these editions like and I just want them all because they're they were so in the shop in like in Waterstones they were so beautiful um lined beside each other and I'm just like I want this so this is one I'm not going to take with me even though it is small I just really want to bring the other one with me so the other one and the one that was way more expensive was Hamnet it is so beautiful like it was quite expensive even for a hardback but wow wow like wow and just look at that like I'm sold like even just on the cover it is just so beautiful and like the insides and all are just wow <laughs> it's so beautiful it's not even that long like but it's just such a beautiful book I was like that is stunning I need to have it I heard um Jasmine over at Jasmine Reads talk about this book a while ago and I know that a lot of more people are talking about it now but she was the first person I heard talk about this and I put it on my wish list immediately after I heard her talk about it. I think she maybe gave it like around like four stars or something like that. I'll leave the link um to her channel below. She's amazing. If you don't already subscribe to her, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to her. She's absolutely amazing. But, and she's so lovely as well. Definitely subscribe to her. I'll leave her channel link below. She was talking about this and whenever she described it, I was like, I need this book. Basically, it's set in 1596 and it follows Shakespeare's family. So it actually is a historical fiction and it follows Shakespeare's wife and his children. And I think Shakespeare kind of features a little bit, but not, he's not like the main character. It doesn't, it's not actually revolved around him. And that's all that I really know apart from the historical note that's inside that. So I was sold because I was like, I really want to read something that's set in that time. I love historical fiction. I love Shakespeare. It's called Hamlet. That sounds pretty cool. So there's a historical note, which I find so interesting. I read this in Waterstones. I was like, this has made me need it. Like I already needed it, but I was like, extra yes. So it says in the 19, sorry, not in the 1980s. In the 1580s, a couple living in Henley Street, Stratford, had three children, Susanna, then Hamlet and Judith, who were twins. The boy Hamnet died in 1596, age 11. Four years or so later, 
my father wrote a play called Hamlet. And then there's a quote from Hamlet that is um, from Act 4, Scene 5. And it says, He is dead and gone, lady. He is dead and gone. At his head, a green, grass green turf. At his heels, a stone. Hamlet and Hamlet are in fact the same name, entirely interchangeable in Stratford records in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. I think that's actually so interesting and then it goes into the actual story which I haven't read yet but it's beautiful and just sounds so interesting and I'm guessing from the description that there are trigger warnings for grief. I'm obviously not sure how hard-hitting this book is yet or kind of what way that it deals with grief or really what way it deals with anything because I haven't read it but um, that's what I'm guessing. Obviously going in for, for I'm guessing that that will be a trigger warning but obviously I'll talk about that more whenever I've actually read it and kind of let people know my, my thoughts on if there's any other trigger war warnings and if there's anything else like quite hard hitting that it deals with. So I'll obviously give updates on this. I'll maybe do a book review on this because I know a lot of people have been talking about it. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'll also probably do um, a book review on Midnight Sun. I've got so many videos that I've been wanting to do, but yeah, I just can't stop thinking about this book. Like, I'm going to bring this with me because I can't not. It's so beautiful. I need it and I don't want to risk ruining it at all by posting it. So I need this in my life and I'll be bringing it to Bristol and this will be my next read. I just can't hold back. It's just too beautiful. My camera is literally on like 2% or something. So I'm going to go now and just I'm so exhausted I am absolutely roasting I feel so sick I have to do this IT test for like this um, interview that I have on Tuesday for like a temporary full-time job because I really need money as I'm a student and I really 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 need money so what I'm going to do is just finish that IT test now and then just continue with Midnight Sun um, I'm not going to do a time lapse, lapse as I said because it's uh, so annoying setting up my phone and all to do that and I will vlog with my phone tomorrow I just don't really want to do a time lapse now because I'm so exhausted and I need to do that IT test first so that's the plan and I will talk to you tomorrow whenever I wake up and I'll probably film like me going through the airport and things like that and I will see you tomorrow and I'll update anything on Midnight Sun that I've enjoyed or not enjoyed. <laughs> what I'm going to do is end the vlog here. I didn't read any more of Midnight Sun so I'm going to do a part two where I read the rest of Midnight Sun and the vlog will end whenever I finish Midnight Sun whenever that is. Yeah I was just way too tired last night to read anything really in the end. My battery did die in the end but I just want to say that I'm going to go and read now. Um, as I said I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to look out for a part two and a midnight sun review and everything like that and subscribe to my channel please if you haven't already and like this video because I would really appreciate it and comment below if you have anything to say about this video <laughs> at all um if you've read the woman um in the window or if you've read midnight sun i would love to know what your opinion on those were or if you've got review videos on them i would love to watch them um so just let me know anyway yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one